numerical integration method for multibody dynamics. Accuracy of explicit Euler method. Taylor expansion of an integration variable can be expressed in time domain as follows. The second order Euler integration method is obtained by truncating all terms after the third term. Since the magnitude of the third term is much larger than other truncation terms, integration error of the second order Euler method is approximated by the third order term. The truncation error must be smaller than a user specified error tolerance. Therefore, the allowable integration step size can be estimated as follows. The third time derivative in the truncation error can be estimated from the divided difference of the second time derivative before and after a time increment. Accuracy of implicit Euler method. Y n plus 1 dot, which is obtained from Taylor expansion, may be substituted into the Taylor expansion of Y n plus 1. The resulting equation gives the implicit Euler method and its truncation error. Stability of Euler method. It is impossible to investigate the stability properties of the Euler method for general nonlinear differential equations. Therefore, we discuss the stability properties of Euler method for a simple linear differential equation of y dot equal lambda y. The stability properties of Euler method for general differential equations can be predicted after locally linearizing the original problems to get the corresponding simple linear differential equation. The numerical solution at the end steps of the given simple differential equation can be obtained as follows. Since the final solution of yn must be convergent to the exact solution of zero at the end of steps, the multiplier of one plus h lambda must be smaller than one. The convergence condition gives the stability region to be inside of 1 plus h lambda of the complex plane. For each given lambda value, the stable step size can be determined. Similarly, the multiplier 1 over 1 plus h lambda for the implicit method must be smaller than 1. It is easy to denote that any value of step size satisfies the condition. Therefore, we call implicit Euler method to be absolutely stable irrespective of the step size. Numerical damping of a numerical integrator. There are many mechanical systems which contain discontinuity or chaotic entities. The system eigenvalue of such systems can be negative or very large above the interest of engineers. In such cases, the responses beyond the interest of engineers can be ignored. Numerical damping is often used to find the filtered solutions for such systems. The numerical damping can be affected the accuracy of a numerical integration. Large numerical damping provide greater numerical stability, which result in more accurate solutions. However, too much numerical damping introduces inaccuracy. The amount of the numerical damping is controlled by the integration step size. Therefore, it is important to have a numerical damping and a suitable step size not to deteriorate the accuracy with enough amount of the stability. Effect of step size and numerical damping. To show the effects of numerical damping and step size, let us take a look at the solutions obtained from ANSYS motion for a simple one body and spring system. The system has no physical damping. The response must oscillate without decaying. For maximum numerical damping of 1.0, it can be denoted that the response oscillates without damping with the step size of 10 to minus 6. As the step size increases, the more numerical damping effect can be observed. As the numerical damping decreases, the less numerical damping effects are shown with a large step size. Numerical integration algorithm of an example. Let us take an example consisting of two bodies connected by revolute and translational joints and one spring and one beam elements. 
constraint and their Jacobian. The constraint equations of the system and their Jacobian matrices are obtained as follows. Generalized forces. The generalized forces of the spring and beam are obtained as follows. Equation of motion. The equation of motion are obtained as follows. Right-hand side of equation of motion. The right-hand side of the equation of motion is obtained as follows. Numerical integration algorithm by explicit method. It is assumed to be the step size to be 0.01. The first step is to set the positions and velocities to be the initial given values. The second step is to solve the augmented equation of motion for the initial accelerations and Lagrange multipliers. The third step is to carry out the numerical integration for the position and velocities of the next time step. These processes are repeated until the end of the simulation time. Initialization of implicit method. The first step of numerical integration algorithm by an implicit method is to find the accelerations by solving the equation of motion with given positions and velocities. The second step is to update the time and reset the initial guesses of the position, velocity, and acceleration to be the same as corresponding previous values. This results in integration formula to be inconsistent. Iteration of Newton method. Since the residual equations comprises a set of nonlinear equations, the inconsistent residuals can be fixed by Newton method. These processes of Newton method iterations are repeated until the end of the simulation. Solver options for ANSYS motion. Auto option automatically decide a suitable solver type depending on a given problem. Frontal solver option. This option uses the nested dissection method to eliminate the intermediate variables of the system equations. Since this method does not save the intermediate values, it requires a smaller memory than this of sparse solver option. When this option is used on HPC machines, its performance is better than sparse solver option. Super solver option. This option uses frontal solver option as its basis. This option tries to save the system Jacobian evaluation and its decomposition as long as Newton method iteration succeeds. This solver performs well for slowly moving contact or small deformation problems. In current HPC implementation, each body is assigned to a different core so that it performs well for a problem with many flexible bodies. Sparse solver option. Sparse solver option uses Intel MKL library. A matrix is represented by compressed sparse law format. PCG solver option. PCG solver is a preconditioned conjugate gradient iterative solver. It performs well for small deformation problems. A pre-processing time is required to find good preconditioner. This option may perform poorly for some beam or shell problems. <laughs>